Well, welcome back to the studio. Today I'm working on another one of my little embryos. And this is a Texas springtime scene with a barn and blue bonnets and just, this is, this is just something that is so typical Texas and it's fun to paint. The, uh, the barn, I'm using mixtures of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And then I've added cadmium orange into that, a little more ultramarine blue. I have several different mixtures in different proportions, so this, this gives me a variation in this old wood. And then I just take some of my mud plus liquid, and I kind of bring some cracks and stuff into those old boards. Just real rough texture. I make the back part add a little more blue. This is a mixture of ultramarine blue plus a tiny bit of mud plus some white. That just that just makes that part of the barn go back. And my in my barn door here, this is just a mix of my again that mud plus the liquid. It just gives a nice deep dark in there. I'm going to bring in a little ultramarine blue into that just to give some depth in there. Gives a feeling of just some poles and this is an old pole barn so just gives some little little feeling that there's something in that barn. I'm going to have cactus breaking up over this, so I'm not too worried about that. Now we are going to have a little hay loft. I'm using a mall stick to brace my hand on. This is this has a hook on the top of it. And I just hook this over the top of my easel, and then I can brace my hand on that, and that steadies my hand to do some of this fine detail. Now this is the little hay loft door. And again, this is just some of my mud plus liquid. And I just paint that wet into wet. I don't want it to be solid, solid dark, because that just helps give the feeling that there's something up in that space. And the roof comes along here, and then it, it goes out that direction. These little small pieces are fun. They just, you can be very impressionistic with them. And just fun to do. My collectors love them. And I started out as a medical illustrator. So after, years after I graduated from medical school and Jack had taught me to paint, I was working on some small paintings and Jack said, oh my goodness, let's call those, those are baby paintings. Let's call them embryos just to in honor of your years as a medical illustrator. So that's what these are. Let's get my little roof detail in there. I'm going to get, this is going to become a little bit lighter right here on this side because I'm going to have dark underneath that overhang. So I want this part to be a little bit lighter. You can see I'm starting to get the feel of the wood texture there on that, that old barn wood. Over the years, Jack and I have taken so many pictures of these old barns, and I'm so glad we did because so many of them have fallen down. They just, you know, people haven't restored them, and they just grow into the surrounding trees and brush and just kind of fall down, and I wish they could talk. Can you imagine the stories these old barns would tell? Now I'm using some of that blue here toward the back of that side of the, the barn. And this gets, gets darker as it comes forward. And we're going to have some darks in here because there's little gates and, and stuff here on this side, some little openings within that gate and then there's a gate here for like a horse stall but then there's also just 
cracks in between those old boards where some have fell, fallen off. And again, we let this bring some blues up in here to that part. Make see I don't I'm, I'm being very very impressionistic with this these embryos are just they're baby paintings they're not not meant to have the detail that the, my bigger pieces do now the roof is going to be a rusty tin roof there's going to be some rusty areas in it there's going to be some old tin at the top of it's kind of not real straight. Just as, these are fun. It's fun to have this texture. And now that the more upright part of the barn is not quite as light the flatter part of the barn gets a little, of the roof gets a little bit more sunlight hitting it. The light from above. Now this back edge is going to be a little bit darker. You know, the sun is pretty low, so it's coming in from the right. So I think I am going to make this part of the, this is an exception to that rule, because since the sun is so low, it's hitting this part of the roof. And I'm actually going to take some of my color from the sky and, and add into that, and then add some oranges into this to give that rusty, rusty feel that this, that late afternoon sun is hitting that, that roof. finer brush, like this front edge of the barn. And these rafters kind of come out uneven. This is the joy, the real joy of painting these these old barns is, is just get the little rafters coming out. The thing's irregular. It doesn't have to be a perfect perfect barn. And there's going to be a hole in this roof. Some of the sheets of metal have blown off in a, in a storm. So what I do is I make my opening. Then I come back in and the rafters you can see through the, through the opening. Put a rafter or two going up and down. Maybe just there we go. That just gives us that feel of the and these are just really a fun. painting. Get a lot of paint up there and kind of smoosh it around. And Let's do this. This edge, now this edge of the roof is going to be kind of crinkly because that, that metal's not even. Some of it has buckled up and In a small painting like this, it's one little bitty brush stroke can really say a lot. Back on this back edge, I'm going to have just one little sheet coming up. And then our 
poles for this holding up the roof here. Just take some of this darker paint here to help define that pole. come back with a little bit finer brush to do those poles. I want to lower this front edge of my there we go. So that brings that that light along that front edge just brings that plane forward. Then we'll add a little bit of light up here. So I want the top edge of this roof to come forward. And this is my, my white. And that just brings that roof forward. The sun is really catching this tin up here. Like that. So here's our little barn. It's pretty well done. I may have to come back and do a little bit more. It's on these, these poles I may come back. In fact, I'm going to add a little well, no, I'm not. I'm going to wait on that until I get the rest of it in because the poles will go down and there's going to be some blue bonnets and wildflowers in here and then cactus in here. So I'm not going to do any more on the barn until I get this area done and then I may have to come back in and do a little bit more on the barn. So that just shows you how that barn is painted. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and visit my blog. Many of you have said, well, where's the rest of the painting? I'd love to see how the painting just is completed and how it went from start to finish. That is all in my blog. If you'll click the link in the description below, it'll take you to the blog on this particular painting. So anyway, you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much. And just remember, today is a great day to have a great day and treat somebody with kindness. So thanks again.